Another factor is the influence of wavelength. I can put in here a filter, a green filter, a red filter, and you'll notice, as you saw when you were looking earlier at diffraction patterns, that the red diffracted light is further out than the green diffracted light. If we put the red filter in first and close down the diaphragm so that we have excluded almost all the red light from contributing to the image, you see that we don't resolve the lines. If we change to the green filter, though, we immediately see resolution returns. No resolution in red, resolution in green. And, of course, from the top of the screen, you can see why. The green diffracted light is closer to the zero order, and so, through a given opening, it manages to pass through, whereas the red diffracted light cannot pass through that carefully adjusted opening. If I put both colours in together there, because remember the filter is lying in a plane close to the illuminated field diaphragm and therefore conjugate with the specimen, you can see illumination in the two colours simultaneously and you can see the benefit of the shorter wavelength of the green. It's not very much shorter, but it's significantly shorter than the red. To take this to an extreme, the transmission electron microscope uses electrons whose wavelength is about a hundred thousand times smaller than the wavelength of light, and that's where the benefit of the electron microscope lies. So, in these two simple experiments in the first few minutes, we've seen the basis of Abba's equation that resolution depends on the aperture of the objective and on the wavelength of the light.